Hi, my name is Joe Hajduk and I'm the marketing specialist here at 3DX Tech. Today, we're taking a look at a driver that we printed out of our Ecomax Tough PLA. And to help round out the set, we also printed out a 7-iron out of one of the highest performance filaments that we offer, Altem 1010. General purpose filament versus one of the world's toughest filaments. Let's take it to the course. So what exactly happened on the course? On paper, Ultem 1010 is an intense material that can withstand chemicals and stay strong at temperatures over 200 degrees Celsius. That's why it's trusted in aerospace and high performance industrial parts. But on the golf course, things played out a little differently. Now, a golf swing can generate well over 100 miles an hour of club head speed and deliver thousands of newtons of force at impact. This is a punishing test for any printed part, and PLA actually has a slightly higher flexural strength than Ultem 1010, meaning it can bend just a little bit more before it breaks. Additionally, PLA is printed at a more accessible temperature, which can actually give it better layer bonding and more forgiveness in certain situations. Ultem 1010, on the other hand, does have a slight chance of developing some crystallinity during printing, which can leave layer lines as weak points under extreme stress. When you're smashing a ball, or in this case, the ground, at over 100 miles an hour, these slight advantages PLA boasts are the difference between surviving impact and snapping at the layer lines. That's exactly what we saw. The PLA driver lived to swing again, and the Ultem 1010 7-iron gave in after hitting the dirt. The everyday PLA pulled off the upset thanks to its surprising flex strength, forgiving print bonds, and the fact that the Ultem 1010 7-iron hit the ground. But Ultem 1010 isn't built for printing a 7-iron. It's built for aerospace, defense, and demanding industries where extreme heat and reliability are non-negotiable. Unless you plan on golfing in 200 degrees Celsius weather, it's better to save Ultem 1010 for printing things like intake manifolds and carbon fiber layup molds. Thanks for watching, and you can learn more about PLA, Ultem 1010, and all the materials in between at 3dxtech.com.